All right, so our kids escaping drugs tell event continues now and earlier tonight we talked about the new and emerging drug trends that parents need to be watching out for. Teaching parents and caregivers about what's out there is one of the many ways that kids escaping drugs educates the community. It's all in an effort to combat drug addiction right here in our community and we have a live look for you once again tonight at the phone bank and viewers are snatching up some great prizes from restaurant gift cards to sign sports memorabilia all based on the money that you donate. The number to call is right there at the bottom of your screen. 716-822-2220. Mary Alice Demler is back out live now joining us from the Renaissance campus with more on how parents and grandparents and teachers and other adults, Mary Alice, can really take a more active role in this effort. Absolutely, Michael. There is a lot that they can do. I'm with John Bennett right now. He's the program director for what's known as face to face here at the campus. Uh, so quickly describe what it is you do for parent groups and also for um, workplaces. Yeah, for sure. So whether it's parents at home, school support staff, coaches, other community members, these are the front lines when it comes to helping our kids. So it's very important they can not only recognize the trends, but also be able to get their loved one to the support services they need. Yeah, it's really difficult to really identify what it is your child may be going through. Parents may not necessarily know uh, what the symptoms or the signals are because kind of the drug landscape has changed a little bit. It, it sure has. And one of the benefits that we do for the face to face program is day in and day out. We're doing focus groups with youth and recovery. We're meeting with parents and youth in the community. We're working with law enforcement and other community groups to find out what their current trends are, to find out what's going on on social media, to find out the best way to maybe start that conversation with youth and we bring that right to those audiences. So you're getting all that uh, state-of-the-art upfront, uh, most current trends and information and then you pass it along and how exactly does that happen? I mean suppose I want you to talk to my group, uh, what do I do? Yeah so the good part is we're, we're pretty flexible, all of our presentations are free of charge, we can do these presentations in person, we can do it via Zoom on social media, we can do it you know come out to their location, uh, it starts by them giving us a phone call, 716-827-9462. But also there's a lot of information on our website, www.ked.org, and clicking on face-to-face. -face, it goes through all of our program components, but we can tailor-make a presentation to fit any audience. It sounds awesome, and you use the, the best word, free, right? Yeah, free, no, no cost, which is something we're super proud of. Perfect. John Bennett, thank you so much. Again, program director here at Kids Escaping Drugs, the face-to-face -face program, the easiest thing to do. Go to KED.org, or you can do old school and call on the phone and tell them, I want to know more about one of those presentations, and they'll hook you up with John. All right, Michael, that's it for now, right? From the Renaissance Campus in West Seneca, we'll send it back inside to the studio. Love hearing those phones ring behind you as well, Mary Alice. We'll see you coming up again here at 6.